Hello everyone, Fanta here. You're watching Fantavision, and well, that state of play was something. PlayStation's state of play more like state of snooze because that was one of the most boring presentations I've seen in a very long time. Now, I honestly don't hate the way that they do it. It is game, 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 game. There's no filler BS in the middle. There isn't talking about how they made the game, which if I want to know, I'll look up a YouTube video later. I just want to know what's coming out. And they did that. So the way they delivered these games, good job. The games, not so much. And I feel like most people were pretty underwhelmed. Now, it did start off on a high note, in my opinion, with this weird game called Exoprimal, where there are dinosaur storms, and you go fight them in mech suit things. I... okay. I mean, I saw that it was coming from Capcom, so there's hope that it's gonna be a good game. But what the hell is that premise? They're dinosaur storms? It's like they took Sharknado and just made it dinosaurs and said, let's make this into a game premise. We need to save the world from dinosaur storms, which is the most amazing and insane and just confusing thing in the world. I, I am actually excited for that game. But as far as new announcements goes, that's about all I was excited for. It was like, uh, -uh the rest of the show. Because they showed Ghostwire Tokyo off, which just confuses me more every single time I see anything about that game. It looks neat. I don't know what the hell it's about. The graphics look good. But I really don't know what's going on there. I don't I don't quite understand the combat. I guess you're using like magical things to fight the ghosts and the spirits. And it looks interesting. I still have hope for Ghostwire Tokyo. But the more I see of it, the less sure I am that I'm going to like it. They showed off more of Forspoken, which is a weird title, and the game itself, I don't know. I mean, they keep showing it off, and the more they show it off, the less interested I am, because it's just another open-world action game, and I feel like we have enough of those. I do like the interesting surfing mechanic they showed off. I like the varied enemy types, but it looks like a game I'll wait for 20 bucks, even if it gets good reviews, because, again... I don't have time for these massive open world games that demand all of the time in the world. And again, that's what this looks like. It looks like another open world action game. And I'm just kind of sick of them at this point. Gundam Evolution, a multiplayer mech shooter game, which has all of the trappings of a first person shooter multiplayer game and all the ability type things with cooldowns that you expect from a hero shooter. Okay, it's another hero shooter. Looks fine. The graphics don't look amazing. I'm not really interested in this either. I'm sure there's a crowd out there that is very hyped about this game, but I'm not one of those people. Now, a lot of people were wondering if Konami was going to be a part of this state of play, and you know what? They kind of were. I mean, they're just repackaging their old games again. They've been doing this a lot. They did it with Castlevania not too long ago. Now they're doing it with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, with the Kawabunga Collection, taking a bunch of NES, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, and arcade games and slapping them on a disc. Now, not a bad thing, but it's not anything new. I want old Konami back so bad. I feel like most people do. And I have a feeling we're not going to ever see that. They just seem to be trying to make money off of all of their old stuff and nothing about their new stuff at all. I mean, they're even making pachinko machines out of their old stuff. So who knows when there'll be a new IP or even a follow-up from Silent Hill or any of those other series that Konami's come out with. I don't know. It's, it's kind of a sad state of affairs for that company, and I just couldn't be excited for this collection. I know a lot of people are excited for this. This was the highlight for a lot of people, but... I mean, you can just emulate most of these games already. They've been around forever. It's cool that the arcade games are on there because I think that's slightly more difficult to emulate. But beyond that, eh, you know, it's just another collection. It's $40. It's $40. Some people are saying that's a good deal. I don't, I, how? I fail to see how you slap a bunch of ROMs on a disc and that's a good deal. No, not for 40. If it was 20, I'd be excited. 
I'd be pretty excited. I'd get it for my Switch and I'd have another game for my Switch collection and it would be like good on the go game. But for 40 bucks, that's a bit much. And I guarantee, just like with all these other collections, it's gonna drop to 20 immediately. So I would wait if I were you. Gigabash was just weird. It was just a bunch of stuff happening on a screen. You're a kaiju and it's a top-down battler looking game? I don't, it looked like a mobile game. It didn't look like, oh, this needs to be on the PlayStation 5. This needs to be highlighted. This looked like a game that would be on the store that maybe a child would look at when it's on sale and go, maybe I'll give that a shot. I, nah. Jojo Bizarre Adventure got another 2D fighting game. I don't know if this is the original game from the PlayStation 3 with just a bunch of added new characters. I don't know. I don't follow the either type of those games. I don't play 2D fighters. I don't have, know anything about JoJo. So there you go. The JoJo fans are excited, but again, it seems like a weird game to showcase. Okay, another game that I am excited about, and it didn't redeem the whole show for me, but it, it kept it from being an F, Trek to Yomi, which looks amazing. I love the art style. I love everything that I've seen about this game so far. I love that old school black and white samurai film aesthetic they're going with. The fights that are taking be place behind those paper walls, the guts, the gore, the story looks interesting. Everything about this game just looks like something I'm really going to enjoy. This was, okay, this was my number one game of the entire show, for sure. Because even though the Dinosaur Storm one was my number one as a joke, this one I'm actually interested in when it comes to everything about it. Like, it looks like it's right up my alley. I love samurai stuff, and I can't wait to see what this game is like. Another good thing about this show is that they showed that Returnal is not just being abandoned. They didn't just throw it out there and go, there's your game. They're adding a new update soon for free that has a challenge tower, and it has co-op for the campaign. That's awesome. That's amazing. Honestly, those two things, I think they sold me the game. They've sold me Returnal. So the next time I see it for like 30 bucks, because I've seen it hit 30 quite a few times, I'll probably pick it up, get one of my friends to play it, because he hasn't played his PlayStation 5. So maybe this will get him to dust it off, because it's right up his alley, and I think this game's going to be right up mine, because we love Risk of Rain. We do like those roguelike type games and it looks like a ton of fun, especially with friends. So, really happy about that, and I'm actually pretty excited about those challenge towers too. At the end of this state of play, Square Enix showed off two more games. One is just another turn-based game. It's okay, I guess. It's just a, it's a turn-based RPG. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of over these. Like, they're fine on like a handheld, on the go, they're perfect, but I don't want to sit down on a console and play something like this. I've just seen it a million times by now. I don't know what they're going to do differently with this game, but I'm I'm good. I don't need to play the Diofield Chronicle. What are these names that Square Enix is coming up with? The Triangle Strategy. What is going on over there? Then they showed off their linear-looking action game, which I guess some people are excited about. It's been a long-running franchise, so there is definitely a fan base for it. But again, I just... Nah, you know? It looks okay. It doesn't look like anything special. The graphics specifically do not look good. They just don't. I'm hoping that this... They're gonna update those visuals. 99% of the time they don't after they show these gameplay trailers, but it was looking pretty rough, in my opinion. And another thing I want to point out is the fact that none of these games were PlayStation 5 only. Somebody please tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'd love to be wrong. But all of these games are PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Which means, yes, we're still at the beginning of the new generation. But we are at the beginning, beginning of the new generation. Which means they are still not even pushing the hardware a little bit. They're not taking full advantage of what they've got. At least that's what it feels like to me. Now, there's been a lot of great looking games, but I feel like just like with the 360 and PS3, just like with the Xbox One and PS4, when we saw later on in the generation, games started to look a lot better than the beginning because they were putting them on the old platforms and the new. Once they shift that focus over, we're going to see a giant leap 
I feel like, and not just performance, but visuals as well. So I'm looking forward for them to stop making games for the PlayStation 4. For now, I get it, because nobody's able to get a PlayStation 5, so it makes sense. But I am looking forward to when people that want the PlayStation 5 have it already, they have their audience, and they start really taking advantage of that system. Because I feel like a lot of games just kind of have forgotten already about the dual sense controller i mean not even elden ring takes any advantage of the dual sense controller i want them to take advantage of all the different things that that console has so we can see its full potential i know there's god of war and a bunch of big titles on the way but it would have been nice to see some sort of splashy title in this state of play or at least some sort of new announcement to get us excited about owning the system. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below, how you would have rated this state of play. If there was anything you're excited about, let me know. Of course, like the video if you guys liked it and subscribe for more content. And as always, have a fantastic day. See everybody.